Hello, 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 it's Michelle from onlinewithmichelle.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create your list where you are going to create a lead magnet and it's I'm using Aweber so what you do is you log into Aweber and then um, you're going to click on manage lists and then you're going to click create a list so I'm going to tap on that and what you need to do is you need to fill out your company name so I have several lists so this one is going to be my online with Michelle list um, my company that is and my website I'm gonna do online with Michelle dot com okay um, you also want to include an email your address you want to make sure that your address now whenever you set up your Aweber account you should have already set up your address um, this is what people will see at the bottom of the emails okay so this actually goes to a UPS office where I have a mailbox um, and then um, the sender name what sender name and email address should appear with your emails um, I have my first and last name um, I'm actually going to use my social media tips with Michelle dot, at gmail.com now you're gonna be told that you can't use Gmail or Hotmail but I've not had issues with this going into people's spam folders but if it does turn out to be an issue you can always change it to another email address that doesn't include a Gmail or, or, an, or a Hotmail okay but I'm gonna leave it as it is <clears throat> and then I'm gonna hit next step okay now you want to name the list this is really important because this is what you're going to be referring to um, whenever people opt in so you will see it on your reports um, you will you need to know what this list is so this one is I'm going to be sharing uh, 10 lead generation tips like 10 top ways to get leads so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call it 10x leads okay that's the name of my list and um, briefly describe the list description briefly describe the emails your subscribers are going to receive um, okay where are they going to see this description I think they're going to see this description actually if they decide to opt out your subscribers will see this if they choose to unsubscribe from your list at a later date what it does is it provides a brief and straightforward description of your list to help them understand what they're unsubscribing from so this is great if people have are on multiple lists and they want to subscribe from unscribe from any of them they'll be shown all the lists and ask which ones they want to unscribe from so um, this one is my um, my uh, top 10 lead gener lead generation trainings okay so it's a top 10 lead generation training what this is is this is Ray Higdon's um, 10 ways of generating leads both online and offline and so um, that's about it so now I'm gonna hit next step now this one you just leave it as is because you're gonna go back and edit some things so just click approve message and there it is see right up here it says 10x leads that is the name of your list now what you're gonna to want to do guys is you want to now go to list options now make sure you're in the list that you wanted you want to um, you want to make changes to so now I'm in I'm by default in the 10x leads because I just created it now click on list options and list settings now if you see here I've got the list name so you can scroll down and see how you set it up now if you get if you want to get an email for every time somebody subscribes which you kind of want to do because you want to see if people are opting in right so what I do is I just put my name in my my um, I'm gonna use my Yahoo email I love getting emails when and notify me that people have opted in my list so and then I'm going to click add okay so all that does is this notifies you every time a new subscriber is added to your list okay make sure you save the settings and then what you're going to want to do is you want to personalize your list now this is where um, you want to upload your logo so I'm gonna take my a picture let's see let me grab one of my pictures oh geez um, I'm just gonna take this picture of me here I'm gonna upload that that way they have that picture of me oh that's cool it's actually a gif <laughs> 
I might want to change that later, but for sake of time, there's <laughs> my picture. Um, I'm going to leave this blank for now, email signature, because I add my email signature after every email anyway. Um, but um, this is just for company branding, okay? So it just gives your messages and pages a personal touch. But um, if you want to add your Twitter account to this, go ahead and do that. I don't automatically have it post to my Facebook, but I do um, specify for it to send out a tweet whenever I send out an email. So I'm pretty much going to leave everything the way it is, okay? So click Save Settings. And then, this is super important, you guys, confirmed opt-in. Um, what you want to do is you want to scroll down and you want to turn the send it confirmed opt-in email for web forms. What this is, is if you do not have this off, people will not get access to your emails until they have to go into their email and say, yes, I want to get your email. So it's kind of an extra step and it does reduce your, your level of um, true opt-ins, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Yes, I do want to disable it and then I'm gonna save it. Okay, so now my list is set up. Okay, so now that my list is set up, you need to take it one step further, okay? And I'm gonna show you what you need, what you need to do. I'm gonna to go to Aweber. <clears throat> I'm just gonna do a search real quick. Aweber contact. I think it's the contact us. Okay, what you need to do now is you need to go to the contact page. So I just did a Google Aweber contact and it's this link right here. And I'm going to click on this quick chat here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, um, um, my name is Michelle and my login is, and I'm going to put my login, okay? Um, I would like to disable the um, I would like to disable the confirmed opt-in for the list name of 10x leads. Thank you so much. So basically what you're doing here is, um, you're notifying them that even though you turned off the confirmed opt-in, you have to take it a step further and notify Aweber because of the fact that we're creating a lead capture page using a third party, which is the funnelizer um, through MLSP, you have to take it a step further because their default settings will still be, they'll still put it as confirmed. So what you're doing is you're telling them that you still you want it off and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click chat with us and what's going to happen is is it's going to notify them and guys seriously it takes like one to two minutes if it's during normal office hours then you'll get them immediately and it's really really fast okay that's how you do that but make sure that whenever you set up your list that you also contact Aweber support by using this live chat and just let them know that you want to disable it. So an agent, see how fast that was? So he's basically going to get it done for me and then he'll me message me back and go, okay, Michelle, it was done, thanks. And I'll be like, thank you. And then the conversation will be over. So that's how you do it, guys. So as you can see, he's typing right now. <clears throat> it looks like he's gonna get it done really quick. So see how fast that was, guys? All right, here he goes. He says, I've successfully disabled there we go. From here out, subscribers will be added without the need to confirm their subscription. Woohoo! Thank you. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to end the chat and I'm going to give them a smiley face. Great service. I'll just say great service. And submit. There you go. All right, so that's how you do it, guys. Now we're going to go to the next step and get your funnel finished. All right, talk to you later.